Today I want to share with you this technique I've been using for some time to drill out my seats. And I really love it. It's super accurate. It eliminates the needs for numbers. It also eliminates the need to use bevel squares. And it's the most accurate way I've found to do this process. And it's really fast. It's actually faster than setting a bevel square over and over. So I love it because frankly, drilling holes is not my passion. My passion is for shaping the wood. And this gets me there faster and then I know the job is done right. So here's this fixture that I made, and it's pretty simple, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But first, let me just show you how it works. So I start, like most chair makers I know, with what we call sight lines. And those are just lines that tell me what direction my drill bit should be leaning when I lean to a specific angle to get the angle that I want for each part. So I've got those laid out here, and normally you would have a number associated with each one of those holes. So you'd, you'd set a bevel square to it, and you'd set here, and there's all sorts of techniques for how you can try and match what that bevel square does. And that's basically what this, this fixture I've made does. So it does it a bit differently. So instead of a number, I have a location along that line. I put a little red dot on it. When I align my uh, fixture here with that little red dot, and it's on my sight line, I just put my drill bit here, and I put it up into the fixture right here, and it comes right into there, and I start drilling, and that's going to give me exactly the correct angle leaning along that sight line. So here's the fixture here. And it's pretty simple. It's just two pieces of plywood with a little brace at the back to keep it nice and square. It's got a swivel block and it's got a stop block here. Now that, that's really my alignment point that I line with a little spot along my sight line. So let me just show you how and why this works. It's pretty simple when you look at it. If I have a point down here that I'm going to be drilling at and I put this right here against the sight line, you can see that as I move it down the sight line, that angle changes. And that is really what makes this work. So really where you set the fixture on the sight line is going to dictate what angle it drills. Simple. So now I want to show you how I go about getting that location along the, the sight line. And normally once I've got this, I actually put it on my pattern. That way when I trace out my pattern, I just have a separate little spot where I put a little red dot and that tells me exactly where to set my fixture here. But this is how it works. I, I have a full scale here and this is available on my website. It's under the drilling jig plan. So you can just go to that page and you can download this PDF for free. And what I do is let's say I wanted to go to 10 degrees leaning this way. So you could go 10 degrees leaning the other way. This will go both directions using the same fixture. But in this case, let's say I wanted to go 10 degrees leaning back this direction. So what I do then is I just put a little red dot on here. And then when I put my fixture up against here and I put it up against that red dot and I go to drill down into there, it's actually going to be exactly at 10 degrees. And you can see that. You can even double check it if you wanted to, simply obviously by putting this here. And you'll see that 10 degrees lines up right with where you're going to be drilling. And it kind of can't be wrong. So now I want to show you a couple of the key features that you're going to need to get right about this fixture if you want it to be accurate. So if you're using the scale that you can download from my website, one of the key things to note about this scale is that if you're extending all the lines up into space, they would meet at eight and a half inches up. So that means that eight and a half inches up from the bottom of my fixture is where the center of this needs to be. So this is my little swivel block and I just drill a hole at eight and a half. Then what you do is you drop a square line down to the base again to make sure that you've got it nice and square right to the center of that hole. And that's where you put your zero. So if you put zero there, because obviously it's straight, straight up and down, then you're going to notice where the 32 mark is. Now I just use 32 because I don't really drill anything that big. So I figured that was a good place, a good stopping point for how many angles I want to be able to drill. So I stopped it at 32. And that's where your stop block goes and your registration block. So it's that simple. If you put your registration block there and you use your scale as I just showed you, you're going to get the accurate angles. So all that explains what happens when you set your uh, piece down here on the sight line and get your angle this way. But we also need a way of ensuring that our drill bit stays dead plumb, in other words, parallel to the face of our jig here. And that's pretty simple. It's by relating these two pieces of wood here. This is the little swivel block. And you'll notice there's a little bit here where it keeps the uh, shank of your drill bit off the surface. So you need to know that distance. So here it's half of an inch, for instance. Then I need to add half of the thickness of the, the shaft that I'm using. So I'm going to take a quarter inch plus the half inch. And so this little block here has to sit three quarters of an inch, the, adding those two up, off of the surface here. And that's going to make sure that the center of your drill bit stays dead plumb the whole process. If you go to the store on my website, you're going to find plans for this. It's all free for the PDF on both the fixture and on the scale. Please feel free to download it and build it and let me know what you think.